Hi right, guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I want to do a video today uh, just comparing and showing two different ways of syncing your audio and video and post-production using Caden Live. Now, this is not sort of a masterclass or a tutorial by any means. I'm just showing the ways I figure it out. There's a couple of other videos on YouTube um, with people uh, showing um, how to do this. Now, what I might take on this or what I want to do maybe that I haven't seen in other videos is uh, comparing two different methods of doing this. Um, and those methods are going to be firstly manually syncing by literally lining up the waveforms between uh, two microphones, the kind of reference microphone and the microphone you actually want to use. And the second way is going to be uh, the intelligent way or the automated way, which is using Caden Live's feature that they added a few versions ago uh, for doing this. And then I'm going to play a few seconds of the same clip sync the two different ways uh, just to compare and contrast. I don't think they'll be any different uh, or noticeably different if, uh, if it's done well. So um, just to explain how I'm doing this test, if you will, the video that you're watching is being recorded with my camcorder, the Canon Vixia HF-R800. Now, as I am recording this, um, I'm getting audio from the camcorder. So I can see a little level meter, it's moving, it's capturing audio and it's capturing video, but the internal microphone on the Vixia HF R800 is not amazing. So what I'm doing, you may notice I have a lavalier microphone on. That's not going into the camcorder, that's actually going into my computer and I'm recording in Audacity. So what we're gonna do for this test is um, I'm going to, when I finish reading my piece, I'm going to export the video file uh, from the camcorder. I'm gonna put that into Caden Live. I'm going to save this audio file in Audacity from the USB lavalier microphone. And then we're gonna to try to match those two up. So we're gonna have two audio tracks, the reference track from the microphone and the audio track we want to use. And all, we, all you really need to do, um, I mean, and this is just kind of a, this is a setup I'm using. You could also do something like record with a Zoom H1N and the camcorder or whatever. Uh, I'm just doing this uh, just the way I wanna set up this test. So what I'm going to do now is read a little bit of text again from A Tale of Two Cities. Uh, by Charles Dickens, and uh, this will be our uh, control. I'm gonna read about 10 seconds of test, and then we'll sync them in Caden Live using these two methods to see if we notice uh, any difference. Um, and let me just get to the this start. Uh, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom, it was the age of foolishness, it was the epoch of belief, it was the epoch of incredulity, it was the season of light, it was the season of darkness, it was the spring of hope, it was the winter of despair. Okay. That example is gonna be uh, what we're gonna to try to sync with. And let me uh, stop the video now. I'm going to uh, save the recording, offload the, F the SD card, and uh, show how I'm going to match these guys up in uh, Caden Live. Okay, so um, now what I'm going to do is I've opened up Caden Live and I will want to be uh, moving in my, uh, my files. So here's how I have um, arranged these. I have this is me uh, speaking into the uh, into, into my camcorder. This is the lavalier capture that we got into the computer. And uh, these are just gonna be used in the production of this video. So I'm just gonna drag over uh, these two files, the camcorder file and the Audacity Lab capture file into Caden Live, firstly. And now I'm going to drag them both into the timeline and I should be able to see two different waveforms. Now, it's actually pretty easy already at this point. You can just kind of see they're almost in line um, and it's actually very close. So what I can do is as follows. Here's gonna be the first uh, methodology. I'm just gonna literally move manually, 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 manually. And this is really all there is to it. And just go into like maximum zoom. And this to me looks like they're, uh, that they're in sync. So what I'm going to do now is turn off this audio And I'm gonna grab the, the, point, the part of the video on which I do the... So this is the part that I start reading. Sorry, I'm gonna firstly group all these together. And I'm gonna just cut here. This is the start like... Okay, so this is basically the manual sync. And I'm gonna just export this firstly, and then we're gonna do the, uh, the automated sync methodology. Okay, so um, I've exported out the manually sync version. What I'm gonna do now is do this process 
using the kind of tech that uh, that Caden Live has baked in. So the first thing that I want to do, I'm going to firstly unmute um, the microphone capture track and I'm going to uh, set this as the audio reference, okay? So I'm going to firstly ungroup so everything's on its own and I'm just selecting the audio from the camcorder. I'm going to go set audio reference like this. And in fact, I'm going to just move this way out so that it's nowhere even close. Set audio reference here. And then I'm going to right click on the Audacity Lab capture and I'm going to do align audio to reference. It's going to take a second and there we go. It's uh, automatically, and if we just inspect how that process has worked, to me it looks pretty much uh, the same. But what I'm going to do is the same, is the same I did before. I'm going to now uh, group the clips back. I'm going to turn off the uh, microphone, uh, the camcorder microphone capture, and I'm going to just export out the portion um, in which I read the, that little line there from uh, Tale of Two Cities. And now I'm going to play them back to back, and hopefully there should be no difference. Either way works, um, and both are uh, very, very useful if you're looking to sync in Caden Live post production the audio you're getting from um, a separate video source and an audio source. You just need to have, for the automated method, you need to have a reference audio. In any event, it's helpful to have an, a reference audio, and then you can sync your second microphone in relation to that. Hope this video is useful. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe for more videos on this YouTube channel. Uh, it was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. It was the epoch of belief. It was the epoch of incredulity. It was a season of light. It was a season of darkness. It was the spring of hope. It was the winter of despair. Uh, it was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. It was the epoch of belief. It was the epoch of incredulity. It was a season of light. It was a season of darkness. It was the spring of hope. It was the winter of despair.